What's up, everyone? And this is Next Level Thinking. What's up, everyone? It's another episode of Next Level Thinking. That's your host, Chris Holmes, as always. And I have my special guest by the name of... Raquel Marie, or you can call me Raquel the Writer. You can call me Lady Rock on the Block. Nothing ever stops. To each his own. I just took the whole interview. <laughs> Where's your call at? You used to be... <laughs> you know, it changes, you know? Sometimes I may hit it with the... Or I may hit it with the party people, make some noise. Mirror, 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 mirror. But There's the MC already. As you can clearly <laughs> see, the MC that is about to get the whole club rocking, about to get hyped, and then getting ready to go. That's how it's about to be. Man, oh, it's man. been like, what, two, two years? Two Ooh. years too long. Man, two time years. flies like crazy, like mad crazy. Honestly. So, what have you been up to? <laughs> My gosh. Honestly, when I say two years too long, it literally has been two years too long. I want to say the last time we were interviewing, I was working at the news station and there is no more news station. <laughs> Coming from just, wow, like, gosh, just from those moments i definitely took the leap of faith last year and i took left the what the leap of faith the leap of faith you jumped baby. off the cliff i the no cliff. parachute no parachute you look down floating in the air just a little bit you got wings already i grew some when i took a leap <laughs> at this point baby the angel wings at this point because the lord said here you are okay just trust in me but <laughs> but um honestly let me kind of rewind back before i even left the station so Shortly after we interviewed, um, you know, I was still trying to dibble and dabble with trying to live an entrepreneurship mm -hmm. life, but at the same time, work my nine to five life. And I was doing things at the same time and it was okay, but I started to realize like I am running myself into the ground and I am running myself ragged. And what good would I be for any of my clientele if I don't have the energy? to pour into them. I completely agree when they start calling your name, like, what do you want? I know, right? Oh, it's like, I'm a, don't ask. Like, phone's ringing again. <laughs> like, I'm annoyed. As soon as like, <laughs> just chunk the phone. It's way over there. Like, what's wrong with you? Everything. Like, everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so wow. So, yes. Yeah, so, honestly, that happened. And a few months later, I end up running into, I end up being invited out to this NFL event. Shout out to Michael Thomas holding it down. Okay. And he was actually inquiring about how my business was doing. I said, bro, I need some funds. I need help. an angel and investor. Speaking and of angel wings, on, help me. Help me, please. Help me. This <laughs> cost is money. And yesterday's price is not today's price. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, he invited me out to this event and then I was introduced to some amazing people and that's when my journey with Fashion League Styles began because I met the owner at that event and we just tapped in with each other. We didn't really, you know, knew what was going to take place or anything and then literally the day after I met the owner of Fashion League Styles, I ran into him again while I was out shooting a documentary. Shout out to Susan Wynn. We have a documentary coming soon. Hold shut, it shut, down. Shut <laughs> <laughs> and I was getting footage for her documentary and I turned around and I met the owner and I was like, I was like, dang, then that's the second day in a row me seeing you. Maybe there is something. So we just kind of said, hey, bye, and kept it pushing. Mm -hmm. Literally three weeks, if not a month down the line, I end up randomly walking into the spot and it being my first time walking into this spot and I end up seeing the owner again. And I was like, you know what? This is destiny. Like, like how many hints do you need? Exactly. <laughs> God is like, how many times do I have to put them in your face? And Next so- Next time like, like, here, yeah, if you miss this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. We're going to get to that in a little bit because as you can see, we got this uh, scooter right here because he said you missed something. So let me sit you down. But uh -oh. we're going we're gonna to put, put a pin in that okay. for at the time. But um, but yeah, so I met um, after, you know, he vetted me in. He sent me over Daniel House's interview and wanted me to write a feature on it just to kind of get my little trial in. And what you do? What you do? I passed with flying, flying colors. And here we are two years down the line. And I... I've been so blessed to be able to interview over, I can't even think right now of over, I, I just, I'm really trying to get, gather the number of interviewing professional athletes. And that was something that I've always wanted to do. I always dreamed of as a little girl. And, um, and so yeah. Like words like, like you, how many you got? You got one of them, two of them? Three, three of them, four of them, four, five, five, 20 of them. Six. People in other states gonna be like, what are you talking about of them? <laughs> Like, why keep saying of them? 
<laughs> just say the thing. No, right. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> and honestly, so that was the Fashion League Styles portion. And then the portion of me being at this job and knowing God has given me the green light to leave, me not wanting to leave because I oh, felt like it was stubborn. my... You, I was definitely <laughs> being stubborn, you know, and not trying to let go of my stability because the job was, you know, paying the bills and meeting the needs, but I was depleting myself during that entire time. And I was like, okay. And God was like, what did you, what did I call you to do? In other words, the words of my grandma, you was running yourself to the ground. Liter literally. Yeah. You might as well took the whole shovel to start digging your own hole. At this point, <laughs> six feet deep. Oh, let me not, let me not, <laughs> let me not. <laughs> But um, so I took the leap of faith and I said, hey, look, this is where we are. And God has been so faithful during this entire time. He has been able to bless me with clientele that I would have never even thought I would have had the opportunity to work for and work with and partner with, to say the least. So it's been amazing. And then just another cool highlight that I definitely wanted to shout out. And, and, I'll, and I'll be quiet for a little bit. Nah, is. <laughs> Because you know your, me. This is your interview, too. We don't need you to be quiet. I need you to keep talking. Talking. Use the mouth. Um, me and my best friend embarked on a journey together. Shout out to Breach and Nate Buckner. We ended up um, coming together and launching a luxury press on nail company together called Voila Clou, which is which stands for There You Are Nails in French. And as you know, like, voila, like, ooh, there you, there you are. Like, voila. Mm -hmm. And I actually have them on with me right now. This is our court. French. We just released these um, Mother's Day. We wanted to I arrive. Want to go on like that I mean, if I had, if I can get up without my my my, my scooter rolling away, but we'll just kind of do a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Voila Clue. Follow us on Instagram, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what up? <laughs> so um, let's let's go back to that part where you said like, oh, go ahead, sit sit me down, because mm. you know, like we um I definitely enjoyed you telling the story of like your jumps to faith the meeting the great connections of the people and your journey of all that which is all inspiring much more mm -hmm. but we all had those moments where God was like I'm gonna sit you down mm -hmm. like why like Ooh. you asking me oh, no I'm not Ooh, <laughs> that's when I tell you that's a that's a loaded question because you know sometimes God will really hint to us in our ear sit down Sit down. I need you to rest. I need you to rest, and we Sound ignore like it. My parents is like, sit down, sit down, rest. Sit down, rest. <laughs> don't let me get out. <laughs> right. I'm saying right. <laughs> like, don't let me say your name again. <laughs> I know, Duval. Look, you know when they start talking with the list, really, we don't want him to say it again. <laughs> but like, don't let me show these people how I really am. <laughs> I'm trying to be presentable. No facts. <laughs> so really, that's where um, that's where God had me. He been trying to. Tell me to sit down for the longest, honestly. Like, showing me red flags, showing me different signs, and I'm ignoring them. La, 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 la. Skip to my loo, and ain't no more skipping, as you can see. <laughs> and when I tell y'all. Sounds like you was skipping this. <laughs> uh, literally, and it's so crazy because, dang, it's been so, it's been so long. So, okay, so. Side note, before I dive into the story about my scooter here, it's called a scoop boot. Scoop boot. Um, <laughs> a year ago, at the same exact time when I fell, I fell down the steps. So it was crazy because God was trying to show me and tell me something last year, but he was so graceful that I just fell from a flight of stairs and I just sprained my ankle really, really bad, but I had to still sit down and I and still learned. Still the and then here it is a year later, Still not being obedient, still not listening to some of the things that he's telling me to listen to. Me just living my own life and just doing whatever it is I want to do after he done told me, baby, I done laid this will out for you. I done gave you resources. Mm. I done gave you people to build with and you still acting a fool. I don't even know why I'm scratching my head because he's probably like, Chris, I'm talking about you too. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and oh my gosh, when I tell you, I literally was walking down the stairs doing too much on the phone trying to go answer the door because I had Chipotle being delivered because I was hungry because I had a long night before because I was out and about and I had an event but I should have been where I needed to be at home and 
I literally was headed to go pick up some footage to finish this major project. And here I am walking and talking. And then I don't, I still to this day, I don't know what happened. It happened so fast. Mind you, I had like these dusty slippers on, okay? Like they didn't barely have the sole on, okay? Literally, okay? It was almost, you, you could have said I just had no shoes on. That's how dingy the slippers were. So I'm walking, la 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 la, then I don't know, boom, 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 boom. And then it literally just happened so fast and I came down on my right foot like a ballerina. And the rest was history. I, at first I thought I sprained it really bad, but then I was like, okay, I literally felt so sick to my stomach when it happened. I didn't even realize what took place. And I was like, okay, I'm cool. Okay, I'm gonna thug it out. And I mean, let me just elevate. I called call my creative director. I said, hey, bro, I ain't gonna be able to make it to the station today. So we're just gonna have to get this footage another time. <laughs> and I elevated. And then later on, that's when the bruising and the discolor, this, the discoloring started to um, really reveal. And I was like, oh my gosh, did I really break my toe? And I just immediately felt God telling me, sit down it is time to sit down since you have not known how to walk in my calling and mm -hmm. you have not known how to order your steps let me order them for you let me sit you down so I can have you marinate and think on the things that I want you to think on and I felt so convicted by it because God had been trying to hint to me that he is trying to take me to the next level speaking of next level yeah. thinking here we are holding it down shout out to next level thinking podcast you know what i'm saying the one and only chris holmes <laughs> can't clone him <laughs> nope, <they're not>. <laughs> <laughs> but he said in order for me to pour into you to take you to the next level and to elevate you you have to increase your means and you have to increase the bandwidth and right now your capacity level is at its peak and you are operating not as I called you to operate. So let me get you to revamp your system and processes and let's figure this thing out. So hence, this is why we're here with lovely Scoot and Boot. But hey, I got my J on. So I was trying to be a little festive so I can. I got the boot <laughs> boot right here. But I got my J Jay, on. J right here. That's why we got this leg crossed. I got hey. my <laughs> That's the story among the sub by itself. Because <laughs> you got a lot of jewels and lessons in there. Mm. And reminding me of the butt whoopings of not being listening and being stubborn. Mm. But that is definitely a beautiful among the sub because um, even through that of what you just told uh, us, the audience, it is time for us to sit down and listen. Or else. <laughs> or else. Are you guys going to be looking like me? <laughs> scooting around everywhere. <laughs> Missing all the signs. Missing all the signs. Don't be that on, on the cool for real. I, can I can I pause right there? Yeah. You said missing all the signs. Man, y'all, it is extremely important to truly have that discernment and pay attention to the signs because, mm, thank you, God. Like it took the children 40 years to get to the promised land when it didn't have to take them 40 years. God gives us these signs so that we can take them and utilize them along the journey, almost as if you're picking up breadcrumbs on the journey. But if we're missing them, we're missing those nuggets and we're missing the mark of how to get to the destiny. He didn't, he didn't, for the thoughts I know, for the, thought, for the plans I have for you, mm -hmm. our plans to prosper you. See, we could just have a little straight, okay, and narrow. Sorry. Well, since we're doing our way, like, hey, <laughs> and God's probably looking at us like, mm, mm, I mm. um, David, yeah, David, <laughs> um, David. <laughs> just, you already know, so I'm, I'm not gonna say much. Like, all right, I'm about to go down. <laughs> no facts, okay? You let me sort out, let me catch him, let me get him right for you. <laughs> wow, so, what's the next big uh thing? I Ooh. Never got? Wow, the next big thing for, I feel like for which avenue, low key, I don't know, for La Marie Media, for Fashion League Styles, for Walla Clue, for as me a, as a how brand. you feel? <laughs> you decide. Um, wow, so I would start off with the next big thing for for me and just my brand right now is to really hone in on being the best version of myself. 
My bad, she's signing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no cuts. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> because if I can master trying to be the best version of myself, then all of the other avenues under that main umbrella can flow seamlessly. So focusing on not self-care in a selfish way, but making for sure that I have the energy and the capacity, physical capacity, mental capacity, and spiritual capacity to <laughs> really carry out the vision. You know what I'm saying? So. All right, I'm gonna start the collection plate. <laughs> the collection, <laughs> please, we need all the donations. <laughs> Cash out me. Oh, man. <laughs> He's talking about behind the scenes, y'all. He told me he got cash out there. He That's the hidden director, y'all. <laughs> he said I ain't got no phone, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, you don't need a phone as long as you got that cross around your neck, baby. You good. Hello. <laughs> so with that said, like, go ahead and leave a closing remark and where can they find you? Ooh. So y'all can find me at um, Raquel, R-A-Q-U-E-L underscore L-A-M-A-R-I-E. And you can also follow my business page on Instagram as well at La Marie, L-A-M-A-R-I-E. Do I have an underscore or do I not have an underscore? Either way, she going to text me the information. I'm going to so text it's the gonna information. It's going to be below in the description. <laughs> it's going to be below in the description. <laughs> and I already shout out Voila Clue. And also, mm -hmm. follow Fashion League Styles, y'all, man. And it's at literally Fashion League Styles on Instagram. You should pop. It'll pop up. You'll see me. You'll see the whole team gang gang and this thing. And just be on the lookout. Like, we're dropping. La Marie Media is dropping a lot of projects. We're getting ready to drop a documentary. Um, stay tuned for that. Oh, my gosh. And, um... And we have a lot of good content coming. I'll bring it back from the Script Fridays, y'all. So really stay tuned. From the Script Fridays is coming back with a twist, y'all. And I am really, really, really excited. And I'm hyped for this. So I'm honestly, I want to know what's, what's, what's coming next big for you. I'm sorry. I just really switched roles. You really did. Sorry. So first and foremost, piggybacking on what you just said, <laughs> always being the best version of myself and knowing that I am always a student. Mm -hmm. That means becoming stronger mentally, physically, emotionally, and in every category I can think of because there is no limitations, especially when you put it on God. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't run, but I'll scoop real quick, baby, okay? <laughs> but other than that, uh, continuing to grow the podcast is much more uh, and then other business adventures and other kind of accolades I want to get to to challenge myself and then continue to reach outside my comfort zone because that's what it's life about. Taking the journey, the experience, enjoying it every single way mm -hmm. and stop being safe. Oh. Just take the leap and just enjoy yourself. That's good. Because that's how you have all the memories. Mmm, that's good. That's good. Yeah, like, that's powerful. I truly appreciate you, seriously, for inviting me out and wanting to follow up like it's been two years too long and <laughs> let me tell y'all every time i get with this young fella right here we always have a blast when we're interviewing each other well when he's interviewing me but when we're around each other that just, means just i'm old for just, the interview just, she owed me i do i do i do it's time look i just look cut. like what is going on here <laughs> oh man I truly appreciate you again. Thank, thank you. you. Thank I wish you the best to all of your endeavors. Nothing but success. And it's only it's it's it, playing is safe is done. We're 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 elevating. We're going to next levels, and I'm excited. And same to you as well. And thank much you. success to you as well. And any other kind of things you want to challenge into your life. Thank you. I appreciate it. So as we close things up, it's your host Chris Holmes as always. I have my special guest by the name of Raquel. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Make sure you subscribe, share the message, and keep things going so we can keep people elevated and take it to the next level. Before I close out, stop living safe. Because living safe is just like living among the dead. Mm. Mm. I'll let you think about that. Peace out, y'all. Take it to the next level.